so here goes the question uh, you have a group of users who need access to a shared directory called project 99 on Red Hat Linux 7 server the group name is developers how would you create the group and set the appropriate permissions on the project 99 directory so that only members of the developers group can read write and execute files in that directory we will divide our task into two parts first part is to complete the task using available tools there is a commands in the second part we will uh, check if we have fulfilled the task as expected uh, let's go to the terminal and start working on it here is the terminal in the first part we will uh, create the developers group and then we will set ownership of the project 99 directory to the developers group then uh, set the appropriate permissions on project 99 directory to allow read write and execute access for the group so uh, we have uh, three tasks in the first part so let's uh, start with it first uh, I will type the command then I will explain it to you So this command will uh, add developers group to the system. So it's asking for my password because I have used uh, sudo. That is, uh, it's a, a privilege. I will elevate my account to a, a privilege account. Now let's check if uh, a developers group has been created or not. For that uh, we will use a grab command. Uh, slash etc slash group is the file where uh, you will find all the details regarding the groups available in the system so here's the output it says this is the de uh, this is the uh, uh, groups name developers then this is group id it means uh, we have successfully created the group now let's move to the second task So uh, here we are changing the ownership of uh, Project 99 to uh, developers. The group owner would be uh, developers. And hyphen R is the flag or the option we use when we want when we want uh, all the file files that is created within a directory should have. Uh, should have uh, ownership as uh, the group that uh, here in, uh, in our case all the files that is uh, created in project 99 will have developers group as group ownership of the files now uh, let's check if the group ownership has changed
now you can see the change this is the change and this is the outcome of this command now let's uh, move to the third task of the first part now we will uh, change the ownerships not ownership sorry uh, permissions we will change the permissions of the directory Uh, now we will uh, check the permission we will use the same command the same uh, ls command this uh, was the output earlier and this is the output now there's no difference but uh, but just to show you uh, how to change the permission I have used this command we don't need to change the permission because it's already there as required the requirement was that uh, no a permission should be for users and others and the group should have read write execute okay there is no change in the permission now uh, the members of the developers group will have uh, read write and execute permissions for the project 99 directory uh, and its content and for others uh, other users uh, the other users on the system will have uh, different permissions based on their group and user ownership now uh, let's move to the second part here uh, we will add two users to the developers group to check if uh, the users have the required permissions it's not a part of the question but uh, i'm doing it to show you if the users have the required permission or not first uh, to accomplish this uh, first we need to add two users to the group uh, we have two users in our system john and sarah we will use these two accounts to uh, validate the changes we have made We have to modify uh, uh, the accounts John and Sarah. now we will uh, do it do the same thing for sarah we have uh, modified both the accounts now we will check if they are part of uh, the group developers for that we will use uh, id command
from the output you can see that uh, Sir John is part of a developers group so he's part of uh, two groups one is John one is developers now we will uh, check it for Sarah as well so output says Sarah is also part of a developers group now uh, let us log in as John and Sarah then we will create some uh, files in project 99 folder first uh, I will log in as John so you can see that the username has changed this is the username previously it was Subir Datta now uh, it has changed to John now uh, I will create uh, a file in the project 99 directory first I will uh, cd change directory to uh, project 99 And let's uh, list all the files in the folder there's no folders so let's uh, create a file there now uh, list the files all the available files in the folder As you can see uh, the file is created it means uh, we have successfully accomplished our task I will exit from uh, this account then uh, I'll create a file use, uh, using uh, Sarah's account okay I remember like uh, this account was locked so it will not uh, we cannot use this account however like we can conclude that uh, we have accomplished the task and we have successfully uh, answered the question So uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux related content. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.